So I, my name's Callum. Uh, I'm a, one of the youth workers in the Illawarra team at Top Blokes, previously a project manager as well. Uh, so I originally worked, uh, studied at TAFE doing community services. So I had a, a background in uh, working with youth through that uh, avenue. And then I went to university and studied uh, psychology. So I had a background in mental health. And those two sort of paths marry very well to the work that we do now, working with young men. Uh, so the vision of Top Blokes is quite a broad one. It's to see uh, young men lead healthy and safe lives, which sounds a bit sort of wishy-washy, but given the fact that we at Top Blokes work with a wide range of, you know, diverse issues uh, that young men have to deal with, uh, needing an all-encompassing vision really makes sense. So, you know, when we're talking about what young men are dealing with, we're talking about you know, self-identity, the fact that they struggle to understand, you know, what masculinity uh, is and the role that it plays in their life. They might be dealing with physical and mental health issues. You know, they might struggle to fit in at school. They might suffer bullying and peer pressure issues. They don't know how to manage and take risks. They don't know how to critically think and assess in, you know, different areas. And that, that's just the snapshot of the things that we do, so. I mentioned a couple of the uh, things that we've already uh, that, that we do in the program, such as you know, talking around masculinity, talking around mental health. Uh, the, a lot of the things that we talk about in the program have been relevant for not only young men's development, but everyone's development for a very long time. Uh, I think it's more pertinent now than ever to actually emphasise these things. Uh, you know, the growing digital space only serves to heighten a lot of the issues that uh, surround a lot of these problems. So <clears throat> the idea, say for instance, mental health, uh, just right now, the fact that we're going through COVID, we're going through quarantine, you know, people are isolated, they're struggling, they might have difficulty actually trying to verbalise or visualise what it is that they're going through. And that might just send somebody down a bad path. One of the first lines I ever say to all of the boys is I sort of outline what is we do in the program. So I say, what are the ground rules? What do I expect? And I always say to them, respect is earned, it's not given. And I never have to ask them what respect is. It's usually implied, it's usually known. But when we're talking about respect, obviously we're talking about, uh, you know, a mutual understanding of trust uh, and uh, understanding of each other. The, the fact that people would be willing to uh, listen and learn from me demonstrates respect. The fact that, you know, I give young men a uh, space to thrive and express themselves shows that I respect them. So I think it's demonstrated in your actions uh, as much as anything, especially in uh, circumstances of top looks. So when I talked about respect, I talked about how it's a yeah, mutual uh, understanding and a build-up of trust between not only individuals, but in the case of top blokes, it's in a group. Now, in a group setting, typically, you know, if you ask what do, I, what do guys act like in a group setting, you might get maybe some uh, not so positive feedback. You might say guys act boastful, they might be, you know, chauvinistic, they might uh, say any number of things. But in truth, what we do in our programs is we try to foster a positive and inclusive uh, you know, level of respect between each other. Uh, there are other elements, uh, you know, that boys and young men can play into, and, you know, it might be the way in which they treat women. So the fact that in Top Blokes we are a uh, male mentoring program, but we do have female mentors, and that really gives uh, the young guys an opportunity to actually express, uh, you know, their questions, their thoughts, uh, and bounce them off someone of a different uh, gender. Obviously, you know, illustrating, as I just mentioned, illustrating how you might uh, think that something uh, online is acceptable and something that offline wouldn't be. So making sure to do that in a non-judgmental setting. So when you're reflecting that to a young man's perspective, don't put your own opinion on it. Don't say, well, this is right and this is wrong. Get them to say whether or not they think it is. Uh, 
your own personal perspective on what respect is does not develop, will not cultivate over time if you don't actually get them to articulate what it is that they're thinking. If we only impress upon them what our ideas are, then they don't get that duality of perspective and they themselves don't grow. Now, some other ideas that we could do is just share stories. So, you know, like we're doing on Zoom, like you might see uh, online every day, is people are just expressing how it is that they've been feeling. Adding to that, I would also emphasize vulnerability. So it's one of our core tenets in our program is that you don't get respect from a young man if you don't demonstrate in some way that you have or you could empathize with what they've been through. So, you know, no one is a rock, no one is incapable of feeling pain. So it's good to actually demonstrate or, you know, show from your own experience what it is that you've been through. So saying, yeah, I've, I've struggled, I've suffered, you know, I've felt sad, I've felt low, I've felt good, you know, all these, you know, numerous things. It's good to actually articulate that and show that to a young man, especially if they look up to you. Three things to cultivate respect. Uh, I would say, well, I've, I've mentioned not judgmental, but I would emphasize that by saying, actually giving someone a space to express what it is they think or they feel. So, you know, saying to someone, hey, I just want to hear your opinion on this. What do you think? Giving them that opportunity, as opposed to just assuming that you know how they feel. Uh, beyond that, um, I mentioned vulnerability, so sharing of yourself, sharing your own experiences. That's also an important one, and it actually demonstrates to a young man that uh, they can do that as well. Uh, beyond that, um, practice what you preach. So, you know, if you say or articulate you think you know what respect is, well, don't just say it, uh, act on it. In terms of transition, I know it's been difficult for a lot of young men. I know they've suffered and I know they find it difficult to actually express how they've been feeling because changing to the online environment is not only in itself difficult for everybody, for a teacher, for a parent, for a student. Uh, some of them don't even have access or adequate access. Some of them have poor internet. So a lot of them are going to find it's going to be, they're going to suffer, they're going to struggle. So what we need to do when we go through this, and especially when we come out of it, is make sure that we pay attention and we ask those questions about how people have been feeling, about how they've been transitioning through this time. So if anybody is interested in learning more about Top Blokes, you can go to topblokes.org.au. Uh, you'll find all of our social media links there as well. So we're on all major platforms.